Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Sumudhi Sena Nayaka. Um, my presentation is on soil erosion monitoring in support of achieving sustainable development goals. The overview of the presentation, uh, introduction, background, and problem identification, uh, aim or, and the objectives, methodologies followed by results and conclusion. Introduction, health farming system play a vital role in sustainable food production. Soil is a critical factor for healthy farming system and to achieve the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. This image shows the um, top land distribution in the world uh, developed from the uh, Landsat satellite imageries in 2050. As we all know, there are 17 uh, sustainable development goals. The, so, uh, the soil play a key role in the enabling the sustainable development goals. Many SDGs refer to the targets that directly consider soil resources. These are some of the uh, SDGs uh, supports for the uh, considering soil resources and all are uh, all these species are depend directly and indirectly on the provisions of uh, ecosystem services however unsustainable use of soil can lead to the specific soil degradation such as soil erosion compaction contamination and decline the soil organic matter, loss of bio uh, soil diversity and others. Soil threats include the soil organic carbon changes, nutrient imbalance, soil compaction, soil erosion by wind and um, uh, the water, uh, soil biodiversity losses and uh, desertification and landslides. The water erosion greatly contributes to the soil erosion hazards. There are several types of land degradation. However, 50% of global soil erosion is caused by the water. Uh, the water erosion has identified as a major threat to agriculture land degradation. The aim of this study is to monitor the soil erosion at farmland using different tools and techniques such as index-based method, statistical tools, machine learning algorithms to detect and quantify the soil erosion to improve the land productivity and food security achieving SDGs. The problem identification. The farming system in tropical regions, especially South Asian countries, are highly vulnerable to climate change, low crop productivity, and food insecurity. Sri Lanka, which is one of the South Asian countries, ranked in uh, was ranked in the top ten countries in the consecutively in the recent years in the Global Climate Risk Index. What is this Global Climate Risk Index? That. Uh, that uh, indicates to what extent countries and regions have been affected by extreme climate events. Sri Lanka is uh, uh, experiencing drought, floods, and landslides every year. Uh, these are some of the pictorials gathered from the literature. And uh, the, at the uh, bottom of the slide, you can see the graph indicates number of landslides happened during 2003 to 2017 and the dump, red color indicate the um, number of deaths happened uh, due to these landslides events. Approximately 30% of the area, uh, total land area is highly susceptible to landslides including uh, the central region. So we selected uh, the central highlands uh, for this study. And um, four approaches uh, were used to um, assess the soil erosion uh, in achieving the sustainable development goals. And the first methodology, we used uh, several assessment 
including land use, land cover change and crop diversity change, soil erosion and soil erosion hazards assessment. And uh, several vegetation indexes were used to assess and land use, land, um, uh, land, use, land cover classification um, derived seed uh, classes and uh, the uh, land use, land cover change indicate that the dense forests and less dense forests are decreasing while uh, cropping area and build up areas are increasing. The increasing cropping area is a great threat for um, the, uh, achieving sustainable development goals. And also we observed that soil erosion is increasing from 2000 to 2019. Uh, in 2000, it's 9.08 tons uh, uh, per hectare per year, and it is uh, reached to the uh, 11.08 in 2019. The crop diversity uh, change indicate there's a decrease in trend. Uh, crop diversity change was assessed uh, by using various vegetation indexes, such as NDVI, uh, SEVI, and AVI. For further assessment, we used uh, uh, the so, uh, landslides to uh, identify three farming systems. Uh, two are highly vulnerable for landslide incidents. One is the moderately vulnerable. And all these farming systems indicate increasing trend of uh, NDVI and AV indexes. So we further analyze and we use the rain use efficiency index, which is an indicator for land degradation. So we observe that two farming systems, which are highly vulnerable, uh, it's a negative trend that indicate the land degradation, while other is a slightly positive trend. In addition, we analyze uh, to find out whether this is a climate-induced land degradation or human-induced land degradation. For that, we use restraint indicator. Uh, it's a, um, it, it is indicate whether it's a human-induced land degradation. And we observe all these three farming systems, uh, the positive uh, trend that indicate improvement of the uh, vegetation conditions. So uh, we suggest that uh, because this uh, land degradation is due to climate-related uh, uh, degradation. The monitoring results that increase in soil erosion uh, is observed in this uh, region. And as we all know that, it, uh, that because of increase in soil erosion, agriculture production decrease, increase the um, sediments in water resources and increase the soil erosion hazards. So that uh, uh, the, we are, uh, the strategies, the implementing strategy the, the, uh, is that uh, uh, implement targets, the activities related to target 2.4 and target uh, 6.3 as well as 13.1 activities to measure, to manage the soil erosion. In target 2.4, um, it's the uh, activities related to the implement resilience agriculture practices that increase the productivity and production. Uh, by ach uh, by uh, achieving these activities, uh, we can get the outcome increasing agriculture production. So that supports to the uh, SDG goal too. And as well as uh, the target 6.3 that improve the water quality by reducing pollution. Uh, that outcomes will be decrease the sediment in water resources so that we are supporting to the SDG 6 as well as 14. And 13.1, uh, that, uh, that uh, target uh, the activities related to the strengthen the resilience and adaptive capacity to climate related hazards and natural disasters. So that support to the outcome, uh, achieve the outcome decreasing soil erosion hazards and that ultimately support for the, for the SDG 13 and 14. In the uh, second approach, we used uh, to find out the rainfall variation 
and use several uh, indexes, extreme rainfall indexes, rainfall anomaly, as well as rainfall trend analysis. So uh, we use the gauged rainfall data as well as satellite rainfall data. That uh, innovative uh, in uh, the test results of the innovative trend analysis um, show that there is a uh, statistically significant increase in rainfall trend during 2000 to 2019. And some of the extreme rainfall events shows that there's a, a significantly increase in rainfall trend uh, in, um, in this area, R rainfall intensity in this area. And the results, the, uh, the monitoring results that is increasing rainfall resulting to enhance the soil erosion hazards in this region. Uh, so uh, implementation strategy is the activities related to target 1.5, 2.4, and 13.1 to measure the mitigate the soil erosion hazards. Uh, the target 1.5 is the related to building the resilience of the uh, poor and host their vulnerable situations uh, and reduce the, the exposure to vulnerability climate related extreme events and other economic, social, and environmental shocks and disasters. By achieving these activities, uh, so outcome will be the decreasing soil erosion and improve the resilience on soil erosion hazards. So uh, other activities related to the target to 2.4 and 13.1, uh, that sub uh, ultimately the outcome support to uh, achieve the SDG 1, SDG 2 as well as SDG uh, 13. Um, most of uh, these results, uh, the analysis were published in the uh, outcomes uh, published in the journal of uh, the uh, tot, uh, science of the total environment under the spatial modeling of soil erosion hazard and crop diversity change in rainfall variation in the central highlands of uh, Sri Lanka. The next uh, approach is the, to find out the uh, ecologically viable and economically sound farming system in this region. So we used um, the index method uh, to uh, monitor and several indexes are used, uh, ecological as well as economic indicators. And we um, use the indexes and finally the matrix, uh, uh, the results of the matrix used to rank the, uh, these uh, uh, farming systems to identify very poor and uh, farming systems as well as very good farming systems. So we found 50% of the farming systems are moderately um, the um, moderate. So uh, Two, point, two, two farming systems are highly, uh, very, in very poor conditions. The, the economic, and eco, eco, economic and ecological status of the farming systems were identified based on soil erosion from this analysis. And the strategies will be the, uh, the activities related to target to 2.4 and 13.4. That is 15.3 uh, as a measures to improve the very poor status of farming systems for sustainable land management and in, um, increase the food, product, food production. Uh, by achieving these um, activities, uh, we will be able to get these uh, the outcomes that is increased food production through sustainable land management of farming system to ensure food and nutrient security. So that support to achieve the SDG 2 and 50. Uh, more details can uh, get uh, this analysis from this article and uh, that is proposing an ecological viable and economical sound farming systems using matrix-based geoinformatic approach published in the Journal of Science of the Total Environment. The final approach 
uh, was uh, using the machine learning and deep learning method to predict the vulnerability of these farming systems for the soil erosion hazards. So you, we used uh, uh, climate scenarios, that is RCP 2.6 and RCP 8.5 for this analysis. And the results, uh, we found that the farming systems of the Central Highlands uh, will be more vulnerable to soil erosion under climate scenario uh, RCP 8.5 in 2030. Uh, the implementation strategy, the target 1.5 uh, and uh, target 2.4 activities, um, uh, the uh, implement these uh, activities and measure to reduce the, the vulnerability of the farming systems. The, the target 1.5 Building the resilience of poor and hostile vulnerable um, situation and reduce their exposure and vulnerability to climate related extreme events and the, the economic, uh, social, and environmental shocks and disasters. Uh, in the uh, 2.5 targets, uh, ensure sustainable food production system and implement the resilient agriculture practices. Uh, that increase the productivity and production. So outcome um, will be the improved, the vulnerable vulnerability and resilience of the farming system by 2030 to reduce the climate-induced soil erosion hazard and increase the food production for food and nutrient uh, security. So by achieving uh, these outcomes, we, we are supporting to the SDG 1 and SDG 2 in 2030. Um, these results were also be published uh, in the Journal of Environmental Management. Uh, further details on this assessment can be obtained from this article. In overall, uh, this study, the, these um, uh, monitoring uh, assessments uh, supports to achieve this uh, sustainable six sustainable development goals in the these um, uh, orange color indicate that there's a uh, actually seven uh, SDG goals are uh, supporting this um, study. Conclusion: the farming system in the western part of the Central Highlands are ecologically uh, and economically degraded and highly vulnerable. Uh, to the future climate has uh, the soil erosion uh, rates and the vulnerability uh, predictions indicate that the most vulnerable farming, farming areas will be more vulnerable if proper mitigation measures, resilience building activities and policy level decisions are not take, uh, introduced. The monitoring the soil erosion at the farming uh, Farmlands using different tools and techniques help to detect and quantify the soil erosion and soil erosion hazards. Uh, that results help to find the uh, suitable implication strategies and to um, improve the land productivity and ensure food security by achieving sustainable development goals. Thank you very much for your attentions. I'm happy to answer any questions.